Whoa. 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 <laughs> F*** out of here. <laughs> F*** off already. All right, what's up guys? What I got here right now is my four-wheel drive, four-door appliance. And I said I bought this appliance to do nothing with, just to drive, enjoy, you know, take kids to school, take the old lady out to lunch, you know, all that nonsense, all the fun stuff, the stuff that needs to be done. But when it came down to it, it wasn't that enjoyable to drive. It was just a truck. It looked like everything else on the road. If anybody knows who I am, that doesn't work for me. So um, it came up where a lot of maintenance is due. I got almost a quarter million miles on this thing, like 240,000 at this point. Since the front suspension is starting to dry rot, I figured it's time to tear it apart. Now, knowing what I know, I don't press ball joints. I buy the whole A-arm because it's easier that way. It's literally not that much more expensive and it saves me time. So if you think his time is money, well, it's not worth my time to recoup that money I'm gonna be spending. Like seriously, it's not worth it. Uh, so I went out, I bought brand new upper A-arms. I got three inch lower A-arms, meaning they, they dropped the truck three inches. Um, I got drop spindles. Uh, I have a rear axle flip kit. So looks like, oh, and I got uh, two inch rear drop shackles. So total, it looks like we're gonna be close to five with an eight in the rear, but being that these are torsion, you know, we could probably go lower, we could go a little bit higher. I don't have to put the drop shackles on. So all that's gonna pan out the way it's gonna pan out. I just showing you a height comparison on the front cross member, like the lowest point on the chassis in the front. I'll show you those measurements later once everything's lowered to, <laughs> and we'll come up with a number on how low this thing actually went and then here's the rear as far as the lowest point would be the pumpkin so here's the deal if you've been paying attention to our channel we work on a lot of stuff mainly two things you know the bus kind of but uh bag <sighs> anyway this garage is full now i got a four-door short bed pickup truck in here and there's no room to move around. I mean, I got trash cans, you know, buckets. We'll call them trash cans. Swamp cooler. I'm printing a bunch of shirts. You know, you can see back there. I mean, that's where my screen press and everything is. It's just, it's just driving me crazy. So, anyway, back at it. Can't even find the damn jack stands. Found the jack stands. Got the got the rear all up. Tires off, wheels off, uh, fronts all jacked up. I'm trying to show you how bad these ball joints were. They're pretty trashed. So there's that. Day three on this thing. Um, I guess it's not really day three. It's day, well, it is calendar day three, but I only have like three hours of work done on it, couple nights after work. Um, spending uh, uh, a little bit more today. Still the middle of the week. But I just wanted to show you the difference on the A-arms. Yeah, so here's the new one, it's a three inch. And the factory one on the left I'm gonna compare them. Try and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, this is, I'm just trying to show the angle of the dangle. Now, comparing the two A arms, you can see how they're they're completely different. Uh, the place where the torsion bar fits into the uh, the slot for the torsion bar is clocked uh, differently, so it's gonna give you your three inches of drop. Drop some middle side by side. Here's the backing plate. We're gonna have to modify. Gotta cut it off right, right, right about there. That's a straighter line. And clean it up. Gotta make sure everything fits and sometimes when you modify your vehicle, you gotta modify other things on your vehicle. Let me get a shot of it right here. It's recordings. Oh. You're getting washed out by the light. I'll wash you out. Yeah. There's also a smudge on the lens. I can see it. You can see it in your face. See it <laughs> with my two eyes. Okay, trying to get a good 
good view of what needs to happen. Torsion bar is hitting the side of the frame. So it doesn't want to slip in. You gotta cut just just barely right here. Just kind of guide that, trim that up. And I think the installation instru instructions say to put the torsion bar in first. But we are where we are, so. But you didn't do that, you dumb idiot. Literally, you can see how little I trimmed off. It's just, a sliver. Just a, a cunt hair. That's it. So, I'm gonna round it off if this fits. Uh, it could use a skosh more. Yeah, but you could probably do that with the... Yeah, I'll do rough. that with the flappy. So I'm gonna round these edges off anyway. Um, sharp edges can create cracks, create stress points, so we're gonna get rid of those anyway. Yay. So it's me, really not that big a deal. Let me go get a flappy wheel for you. Like, <laughs> since you're down there. Like, like, dude. You're gonna have to trim the frame? Sure. What? Sure. Okay. Dude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You gotta trim the frame? A what? A, a what? Yeah, that's what I meant by trimming the frame. Just that. I don't mean to poke fun, but if the person that I'm mimicking sees this, just know I'm not poking fun. It was literally just a trim. And you're super rad. And he's talking shit all the time. Yeah. All right. Constantly. Hey, let me go get you a flappy wheel. Yeah, go do that. What? Can't really see you. Good. Ooh, I don't know, man. That CV angle is just too It looks like it's too not going to explode. If I can turn that without any issues, it should be fine. So and that's essentially at, full, about. essentially at full stroke. All right, it's just the opposite of a lifted truck. I've seen those lifted trucks with the, the axle at, at a much steeper angle than that. The opposite direction. Yeah. So what the hell they're talking about, I don't know. Why are you throwing a fit, sir? Because it doesn't make sense to me. What What doesn't make sense? CVs are made to do what they're doing right now. But everyone's telling me that the uh, full of drives can't go low. I bet you they're wrong. Because I don't, I don't I've driven lowered cars with CVs on them and they don't explode. <laughs> you sure? I'm pretty sure. You know, when I think of like them exploding as like those cool 80s movies like Rambo, you know, where grenades are just exploding everywhere. <laughs> you think that'll happen? <laughs> or like an Arnold movie. Get to the chopper! Get down! Get down! <laughs> it's the only way! <laughs> I don't know. I don't see it being a problem, but I guess we'll find out when uh, you go to use four-wheel drive and do a burnout. Yeah, all logic points to everyone else is illogical, but we'll find out if we're the illogical one. So, uh, so uh, we're going to notch this pig. Pig. You know, right here. Ish. Yeah. Um, and we know from previous experience. That this hole is directly above the axle. Directly, hmm, there's your center line. Yeah, I gotta bring this up. Just because that's the center line above the axle, that's where the factory bump stop is. When you do a flip kit, flip kit moves the axle back an inch and rotates it forwards to keep the pinion angle correct. So keep that in mind. This is a center line mark above the axle, factory position. Move that back an inch before you cut your notch. We have a piece of pipe, and we're gonna put the pipe on the thing, and then we're gonna cut a hole. Then we're gonna cutty, 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 and then weld it. Then we're gonna mark it, and then we're gonna cut it, and then we're gonna weld it, and then we're going to put wheels and tires on it, and then we're gonna go cruise for some some lovely ladies. Are we?
more wives. Yeah, something. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, uh, I cut this hole a little small. I cut on the inside of the line so I can clean it up. We'll see that here in a few seconds. But uh, take your time with the torch. I was running really hot and I had to deal with the inside bump stop bracket that you see right here. Focus. And then here it is all cleaned up. What yeah, you doing? I got two and three quarter here. Uh, gotta make sure it's square. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. Drop shackles. Flip kit. Front spring. Oh, we didn't do anything there. Okay. So there's there's the entire rear end. And then I decided to do the exhaust. Why not? Uh, I had to cut all this stuff back off the back half. It didn't want to fit where the axle was. And then here's the pile of junk I cut off. Uh, front suspension stuff. All right. Oop. Hitting some bumps. Now, I've been driving this truck pretty consistently. I probably got about 10 miles on the new suspension. Had the alignment done professionally. They did a really good job on it. Uh, Toweled everything really nice. I got the steering wheel sitting straight. It's a little bouncy right now. Um, I kind of wanted a softer ride, but you know, it's really not that bad. I definitely have driven worse. Uh, but let's see I'm doing consistently about 40 miles an hour. Uh, I heard one story four-wheel drive At over 30 makes too much noise if it's lowered too much. I have not heard any CV noise Chit chatter or rattle. So uh, so far so good. I'm um, gonna get on the freeway Here before too long and I'll I'll see you there Yeah, so interstate driving doing about 70 still bouncy but you know you lower it a little bit it's gonna be a little more stiff ride so other than that I mean I don't hear any noise anything ill-gotten uh, windows down or windows up don't hear any weird vibrations yet so all is well yeah there it is a lowered four-wheel drive about as low as you can get it I think it ended up being like a seven nine inch drop from factory four by four specs and there we are new wheels let's get on the road go hit that like button make sure you subscribe and comment and share with your friends you can also check out our website it's garagejunkieapparel.com we have all our shirts available for purchase we'll see you next week